All right, everyone. I am in Lexington, Kentucky. Horse capital of the world. Horses are so big here that uh, the Queen of England herself has been to Lexington at least twice that I could find. Uh, and of course, uh, she has been to Kentucky five times. I believe that's more than any other state. Now anyone who knows anything about the Queen of England knows that she loves horses. Uh, they have been her life. All right, let's check out Lexington from high in the sky. I have arrived in downtown Lexington and disembarked from the Bronco. First impressions? Well, look for yourself. It is beautiful. That is historic Lexington Courthouse. It's an impressive building. Uh, yeah, I'm going to head this way. Give you a little info on the city. There's about uh, oh, in 2020. Well, let's let's start with the 2020 census. There were 322,570 people here, and a metro of 516,000. Up to 2020, Lexington had never lost population, but it did last year. Uh, 2021. It dropped to 321 or 321,800 people. So a little bit of a drop last year. But uh, Lexington's got a few claims to fame. It is the horse capital of the world. I believe I said it earlier, but more thoroughbred horses have come out of Lexington than any other city. Uh, it's home to the University of Kentucky, which uh, is one of the powers in college basketball. They have won eight titles. Here, let me pause to take a look at the tallest building here. Uh, yeah, U of Kentucky has won eight titles. They were the first team in college basketball history to reach 2,000 wins. I drove by the uh, university coming into town because I just wanted to see it. It was a mistake. <laughs> oh my God, it was hell getting through there. The traffic and all the students. Uh, and if there's one thing I can say about Lexington right now that already I do not like, and it's probably the only thing I don't like so far, is the traffic. It is nightmarish. I mean, I thought it was in Atlanta or Houston driving through this city. It's hard to get around anywhere, but it's beautiful everywhere. We've got these horses all over the town. Yeah, you can see one across the street. Um, 
lot of well taken care of historical areas here downtown and I've driven through some of the neighborhoods and they are beautiful I was looking at some of the numbers of the city um, the poverty rate is 15.8 percent US average is 11.4 percent so that's a little high higher than I thought it would be you know as you drive through the city you don't really see it or at least I haven't um, Median household income is 58,900. The US average is just shy of 65,000, so it's a little bit lower. Per capita is 35,470 versus 35,390, so it's right in line with the US average. Um, I'm thinking that the university skews those statistics a little bit because you know students, uh, college students don't make that much money because the city doesn't seem poor, it seems pretty rich and you've just seen some of those ranches we drove through uh, on the outside of town holy cow I mean beautiful huge homes <laughs> oh and all the horses, it's crazy but one other statistic, the average home value here is 329,900 so uh, that's about what on average you would pay if you're going to buy a house here uh, in many publications Lexington is among the top 20 most livable in the US I could see that uh, the crime is low 305 crimes per 100,000 versus 398 per 100,000 for the US so crime is lower here than the rest of the country on average uh, and I'm just walking through this downtown and it is beautiful I mean you see it for yourself uh, yeah it's really nice a lot of people down here and like I said uh, or as I said earlier these horses are everywhere and I'm seeing a park over here so uh, I'm gonna go check that out but first I have to wait for this light yeah these horses <laughs> they're everywhere yeah, they take their horse capital of the world title seriously uh, this is Triangle Park danger stay out of fountain the sad thing is someone had to put that uh, sign up Ah, but it's a little bit warm out here, but you can feel the cool mist coming off this uh, water. Feels really good. Anyway, Kentucky is known for two things. Uh, horses, of course. But uh, that's not all Kentucky's known for. Bourbon. Oh, yeah. My favorite of uh, drinks, whiskey, and of course I love bourbon. 90% uh, of the world's bourbon is produced here in Kentucky and uh, Lexington has 14 distilleries right here in the city uh, I will be grabbing the wife later and we will be going to uh, what's it called distillery row or distillery district and we're gonna we're gonna try some whiskey but that's later in the video right now I'm gonna look around here a little bit on a different area of downtown now uh, this is what is the street called North Mill can you see that they go over here North Mill Street yeah uh, looks like a bit of a entertainment district full of pubs the horse and jockey over there and it's got postmasters pub here I've seen like seven or eight here uh, I'm wanting to have a beer later and my head is swimming because there are so many choices. I can't decide if I wanted to do this Postmasters or look at that mural or another place. A couple places I've uh, went by that look really awesome. Hmm, well I'll have to decide that later. But anyway, as I head in this direction, I'll tell you a little bit more. Some of the quirky things about Lexington. Uh, just so you guys know, the amount, the ratio of men to women is in your favor. 
For every 95 guys here, there are 100 women. That's five extra. Every 200 people. So if you're a male, Lexington has that going for you. <laughs> One of the great road trips in this country is to the Bourbon Trail here in Kentucky. And of course, the Lexington is one of the prime stops. Uh, the wife and I will most likely take that trail next summer. I've always wanted to, but we are going to visit some bourbon distilleries while we are here. Anyway, um, a couple other quirky things. Uh, every year, they have uh, a reenactment, a reenactment of Michael uh, Jackson's Thriller. Every Halloween. They were the first to do it, and it is still the biggest reenactment in the country. Um, the thoroughbred champion, Man of War, you may have heard of him, was buried here in Lexington. Just uh, He had a, few, a full funeral, just like a human. Over 2,000 people attended his funeral. This is a horse I'm talking about, right here in Lexington. Uh, they have a uh, local delicacy here called, I think it's Burgoo Stew, B-U-R-G-O-O. -O. It is made from blackbirds and squirrels. Yeah. Now here they don't make it that way anymore. They make it with uh, beef now, but that's still <laughs> kind of interesting. Uh, there's a library here. I'm, I need to find it the uh, public library it has the world's largest ceiling clock so as I look at this beautiful opera house across the street I'm thinking that will be my next destination and of course I want to go to uh, Mary Todd Lincoln's home the uh, wife of Abraham Lincoln she was born here and raised here so I'm gonna go find her house here shortly too so yeah, going to do that right now. Now I'm making my way over to the library and uh, I saw this striking mural. Lily and the Silly Monkeys is what it's called. Uh, hmm. 2012. Is the author or the painter H-E-R-A-K-U-T? That's what it says there. Perhaps a local can fill in in the comments. Just to show you where I'm at though. It's a nice view from here, isn't it? All right. Anyway, I'm going to uh, go to that library because I want to see that clock. Who doesn't want to see the world's largest ceiling clock? Well, I know I do. One of the signs of a healthy, vibrant downtown is many pubs. And Lexington has a lot. And they also have a lot of cool fountains. Water fountains are everywhere. Let me get closer to this one and take a look. Yeah, it's nice. Really nice. Uh, I can feel the cool air, the cool mist coming off of it. <laughs> it's getting a little warm out here, so it, it's a nice feeling. And uh, some more horses. They are everywhere here. All right, I am here. I am at the library. Let's go see this clock. The world's largest upside down clock. And uh, it's in here. Let's go check it out. All right, I've just walked into the building. Yeah, you can already tell it's gonna be awesome. You ready? Here it is. The world's largest ceiling clock. Well, it's kind of shaded because of the way the light is, but around the outside you can see the numbers. And uh, how cool, huh? Well. That's not something you see every day. <laughs> I'm just outside the library now, 
and that is the Fayette County Peace Officers Memorial. Uh, anyway, I am going to make my way to Mary Todd Lincoln's house. This, uh, this building here in downtown is uh, the First National Bank and Trust Company building. Uh, 14 or 15 stories. It's really striking. Built in uh, 1914. And uh, it is beautiful. And it is a hotel now. So if you're visiting Lexington, well, that's an option if you want to stay downtown. Anyway, I'm going to continue my way to uh, Mary Todd Lincoln's house. Lexington's first burial ground on this site. 1781, set aside by the town for houses of worship and graveyard. It was used till 1833. And nearby it is this beautiful, very old church, uh, the First Baptist Church. Go over here and take a look. Uh, organized 1786, erected 1913. So there it is. I had someone say in the comments that it seems like I don't like going to churches. That's just, or video on them, but that's just not true. I've videoed churches in many towns. And this one is striking. Now, Mary Todd's house is right over here. I'm almost there. So that's coming up next. All right, I'm here. Uh, Mary Todd Lincoln House. It's a really beautiful building. Uh, it was built as an inn, or to be an inn, in uh, 1806. And in 1832, the Todd family moved in. And Mary lived here when she, uh, from the age of 14, give a good look at it, until she was in her early 20s. And it was at that time she uh, moved to Springfield and met her future husband, Abraham Lincoln. But that's not the only history this house has. <laughs> this place was also a brothel. Uh, the Madam Bella Breesling I hope you guys can hear me because this is a loud road. Anyway, the Madam Bella Breesling operated a high-end brothel house or brothel here. One of the most expensive brothels in the United States at the time. So, interesting history that this house has. Let me see if I can back up a little so you can see the whole thing. I'll go over to the side. It went into ruin for a while, and there were slave quarters in the back at one time. I guess they're gone now. But, uh, yeah, an interesting uh, home in history of this country. Yep, former home of one of our greatest president's wives, and a brothel as well. All right. I'm going to head back into downtown. You can see it's right there. And uh, I'm going to have myself a beer. As I make my way to a pub to have myself a Guinness, thought I'd stop and take a quick look at Rupp Arena and let you know that University of Kentucky is not the only game in town. Yeah, there is another major university here, Transylvania. University. All right, I am ready to have a beer. That's really cool looking though, isn't it? Uh, I am going to go to McCarthy's Irish Bar because I know they will have Guinness. And I'm sure some of you will disagree with my choice, but uh, I don't know. It's cool looking. Oh, uh, yep. That's where I'm going. Time for a beer. How do I get in here? Here we go. 
little look at the interior of the place. Got the very Irish decor. It's pretty awesome. All right, I'm ready for a well-deserved break. Yeah, I like this place. It's pretty awesome. All right, well, uh, that was relaxing and enjoyable break from filming. Uh, but now, I'm gonna go grab the wife and we're going to tour some distilleries. So that is coming up now. Uh, while making my way to the Bronco, I saw this sign. Uh, Jefferson Davis, three years, while a student at Transylvania University, Jefferson Davis, who would uh, go on to become the president of the Confederacy during the Civil War, lived right here with the postmaster of uh, Lexington. So he lived in this uh, building right here. It's retail now, but uh, how cool is that? And right next door is another very old house that's interesting looking, kind of beautiful. Not kind of beautiful, ab uh, absolutely beautiful. And right next door is another beautiful, beautiful home. Uh, it is a business now. And then right next to it is yet another one. Yeah, a lot of beautiful old homes here in Lexington. It's really impressive. Anyway, uh, there's the Bronco in the middle of the frame. So I'm um, heading there right now. I'm uh, driving through some of the beautiful neighborhoods right here on the edge of downtown. You know, I usually uh, check out some of the neighborhoods uh, near city downtowns. And uh, I'm gonna do a little bit here, I guess, before I go pick up the wife. I'm just right on the edge of downtown, and uh, the homes here are, are just beautiful. Yeah, I'm not going to get crazy looking at houses here, but uh, because I'm, my videos have gotten so long, <laughs> I'm trying to shorten them up a little. But you just can't help but uh, be impressed with some of the beautiful homes here in Lexington. Uh, yeah. That's really nice. Hmm. Yeah, these are really beautiful. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, see downtown's right over here. So I'm a few blocks out, maybe a quarter of a mile. But, uh, yeah, this is what you see a lot of. Really beautiful homes here. Really interesting uh, architecture. And it just goes on everywhere here. Just like this. Alright, I'm driving down the street. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of in the north but northwest uh, area of town. That's downtown right there. And like I said, this is what you see a lot of here. Really well taken care of homes. Uh, really interesting look to them. These might even be newer. Yeah. Beautiful neighborhoods all around the city. Wanted to give you a little bit of a quick look. This is a uh, beautiful town. I mean, uh, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. Anyway, okay. Yeah, I'm going to end it there. I don't want to spend too much time doing uh, this here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to head to the hotel, grab the wife, and check out uh, one of the things Kentucky is known for, aside from horses, 
and that is bourbon. All right, we are at the distillery district. Got the wife. We're gonna go check it out. Cool. Just uh, taking a quick glance at the building though before we go in. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty uh, awesome artwork, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, well, uh, let's head in. Let's go have some Kentucky bourbon. Tar, Manchester Reserve. Tar. That must be where we are, huh? We got a bar over there, so let's go check it out. Hi. I have some whiskey. Doing great. How are you doing? So a uh, guy here just told us that this is the first distillery here. What color That's do you like? It's called Registered Distillery One. What color do you like? So we're gonna. Huh? What color do you like? Well, not yellow. That's for sure. No. I'm gonna talk about this one. So this one is uh, a small batch, 114 proof, and this one. 96. Oh, okay. And this one is the the high end one. <laughs> this one's the uh, two hundred ninety nine dollars a bottle, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's a uh, single barrel. Cool. Was this in the eighteen hundreds? Because I'm just looking at the beard. Yes, eighteen sixty five is when it was originally established. Looks like an eighteen hundreds beard. So this one was one hundred fourteen proof. It's really smooth. He likes now, to this is, I guess you said this is the same one, but lower proof, 96. Yes, same uh, Nashville. So you want to try that one? Okay. Give it a taste. See what you think. Yeah, like what do you think? I'm going to try it. I like that one. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yes, it definitely does. You don't feel that uh, rush of alcohol at the end yeah, there, like this sure. one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would say definitely the 96 is a little more smooth. It's easier, yeah. It goes right, well, down easier. It's really good in a mixed drinks. And we also have a slushy that we make in-house. Oh, no. Washington lemonade, and that's what's used in it is our 96. Oh, no. He, Call it the Lexington lemonade. Yeah, Lexington lemonade. <laughs> Instead of lunch bar. He's an ex-bartender, and he hates anything, like, like frozen. Okay. That's well, I'll have some. You say slushy, he cringes. I, I hate a blender. I'm okay at machines. Would you all like to try a sample of that as well? Sure. Yeah, let's have a taste. But, but while we do that, we're going to try this. No, this is $300 a bottle. That's why it's called inheritance? I guess. <laughs> 300 I don't think I've had $300 whiskey or bourbon, so why don't you give that a try? I know I haven't. What do you think? I just want to try Take the away. frozen. Oh. oh, you want to try the frozen first? Oh, it's like semi frozen. Semi frozen. Not totally pretty frozen. frozen. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, what do you think? It's pretty frozen. It's good. Does it taste like an icy? I like that. Oh, that is good. Isn't that good? Mm hmm All right, try the uh, $300 like uh, bottle whiskey. Okay, okay, okay. Gosh, uh, it is 121 proof. Ooh. Wow. And wow. it's a very high corn rye you might have to, for uh, Nashville. It's 74% corn. You might have wow. to throw me over your shoulder, honey, and take me out <laughs> Yeah, just take a, little, take a little sip of that, okay? Not a big one. I'll finish it. I'll what do you the, think? I'll have the frozen. You keep that. How do you think? What do you think of this? I liked it more than the other ones. You liked it better? Well, for three hundred dollars, you should. Single barrel. How long has it been aged? Twelve years. Twelve years. Okay. I'll keep the frozen one. Oh wow, one. that is smooth. That's one hundred twenty-one proof. I'll keep the frozen one because yeah, you, you wow. can really tell that twelve years in the barrel with that. Yeah, it really melts it's it. It's really not as yeah. high. Not as bad as you would think. That's all. I'll keep the frozen because I'm so classy. Yeah. So you're pulling it right out of there. This is a five-year cool. uh, bourbon. Five-year bourbon. So it's been in that uh, barrel for five years. Sweet. Wow, I don't think I've had with, uh, bourbon right out of the barrel ever. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what do you call that? So this is called a whiskey thief. A whiskey what? Thief. Thief? Yeah. Oh, I like that. The what? A whiskey thief. Oh, cool. All right, so this is their five-year... I'll stay with... Do you want to taste it? I'm going to stay with the high-class uh, frozen. You don't want to do the five-year? I'll do it. I'll try it in a second. This is a... How many proof you said this was? 125. 125. Woo! I feel like we should combine them. Oh my god, that's smooth too. Wait, that's, that's really good, man. Whenever we run it, we're gonna run it about 101. Pounds. There we go. Are you? Yeah. Wow. I put a tiny bit in here and I'm gonna swirl really it up. Good. See, I'm totally high class now. That's <laughs> good, isn't it? 
It is it's good. Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a I see that will mess you up in a hurry. Oh my gosh, <laughs> even more high class. Put some strawberry in it. There you go. All right, after uh, test tasting all that uh, whiskey, we better get some food in us. So we're going to go to this uh, Elkhorn Tavern and get a little something to snack on. Well, Elkhorn Tavern. Uh, yeah, and they've got the pepper distillery over there. We'll go there in a minute, but we're going to go here and get a little snack first. What do you think, honey? Sure, sounds good. Yeah, let's do it. Just so you know, this property is on the National Register. How about that? Since we are in Kentucky, we are going to have some Maker's Mark, and then we're going to have the queso and the burgoo I was talking about. All right, our food is here. You, what do you think that queso is? It good? I like it. You see me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can tell you. And uh, we've got a couple of uh, rolls and then uh, burgoo steel stew. <laughs> stew. That's what I'm trying to say. That is uh, native to Lexington here. We'll see if that's any good. Now, originally, the stew was made with blackbird and squirrel, Whoop. but they've changed it to uh, beef and elk, at least here. Oh, it does look good, though. These corn muffins are fantastic, too. I mean, it's cornbread, right? You haven't tasted it that way. But you're just gobbling down that queso, aren't you? Queso is very yummy. Yeah. It's scrumptious. It's going to be delicious. Both of these are really good, though. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have decided to have bread pudding because it's our favorite dessert, right? Oh, yes. Yummy, and it's good? Yummy, yummy. It looks good. I'm getting ready to dig in myself. All right, that was good. Uh, we needed to get some food in us <laughs> because uh, even those little test tastes of 121 proof, they'll mess you up in a hurry, won't they? What I said. Anyway, this is the uh, uh, Pepper Distillery. We're going to go check that out. James Pepper Distillery. Tours and tastings. It says they're closed. That blows. Huh. Yeah, it's closed, it says. <clears throat> oh, so much for that. Well, at least we got to taste those others. Or taste the uh, whiskey at those other, that other place. Oh, they've got a big rusty old water tower here in this distillery district. Uh, looks like a little um, hole in the wall joint here, so we're, uh, we're gonna go have a drink here. The break room. That looks like fun. I'm not gonna have a PBR though. <laughs> you wanna go in there? Sure. Alright, let's try it. All right, we're having a little uh, Maker's Kentucky Bourbon. Isn't that right, hon? It's a pretty cool place. A little hole in the wall joint. Let me take a look here. See what else they got going. They've got a little patio here that overlooks a creek. Yeah, really nice. Pretty awesome little place. It was actually a garage. There's the garage door right there. And the rails. And they just put a bar. They just put a bar inside this garage. That's a cool idea, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, really cool area here. Uh, in the uh, distillery district. A pizza place here. James E. Pepper Distillery, which was closed. We were all set to go there, weren't we, honey? Yes, Yeah, it kind of sucks, but this is a really awesome area. Got a little creek running by here. Food. Bourbon, of course. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Uh, we are going to head to Frankfurt yeah, tomorrow. Frankfurt tomorrow, that's the capital of Kentucky. I'm going to check out the uh, Capitol building in addition to other things. So uh, be looking for that video, right? Huh? That will yes, be next. Absolutely.